Good morning, my lovely viewers. How you guys doing today? God bless everybody. It's your boy checking in. BZ, Mr. Block Love, Mr. Grab It and Bag It. Stake it till you break it. Dash it and stash it. We get, we get, we get, we get money. You already know, baby. So many ways to grind. Whenever we'll stop on my mama. Always about the bag. Let's secure the bag. Let's get paid. Let's get into it. Guys, you're going for 100 likes on this video. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. So every time I drop a video, you, yes, you and you and you and you and you going to be the first to watch it. And God bless you for watching my videos. Guys, please watch the videos to the end so you never miss anything. Thank you very much and God bless. So today's topic, we're talking about customers cash tip on in-app tip. What do drivers like? You like cash tip or customers tipping in the app, you know? Of course, I'm pretty sure every driver going to say they love cash tips, you know? But it's a problem with that. Cash tips is a problem with that. You know, especially right now, you want to stay away from cash tip. So if the customer tip me, I'm not going to take it. <laughs> of course not. I'm going to take it. Of course I'm going to take it. You know, I'm going to sanitize it. You feel me? But some customers lie. That's my problem right now. Some customers lie by especially taking those low offers. You know, they're going to tell you they're going to tip in cash. You show up, they don't give you nothing. You know, I usually, I'm not going to ask you, you know, you say you're going to give me cash, so where's my cash? You know, so I mean, I guess some driver is going to ask. I'm not going to ask you because I'm not going to take this crappy offers, you know? I showed you yesterday, you know, a driver from, it's called JJ, repping Austin, Texas, sent me a 199, 180, you know, 191 tip from Total Wine. The actual offer was 1450. I got the same thing too. My actual offer from Total Wine was 1333. And I ended up making 150, 153. You know, the subtotal was like 16, 1600 and some change, you know? You gotta go in those right restaurants, you know? I wish, I wish I had somebody, you know, giving me free game when I started doing delivery, you know? I started from scratch. I didn't see no videos, nobody, you know, encouraging or showing people the tips and tricks on how to get this bag. I have to learn for myself, you know? And you guys should be glad I'm out here giving you free games, you know? And you wanna hate on me. I don't get it. They talking about I'm saturating the market. I love my haters, no problem, I love them, you know? Well, how am I saturating the market, you know, by teaching people how to make money, how to get this bag, you know? A lot of people tell me, hey, BZ, your videos help me. I'm making more money there. I love it, you know? I'm not a greedy person, you know? I'm not going to keep it to myself, you know? Some of these people just want to be by themselves, keep everything to yourself, you know, greedy. I'm not like that. I want everybody to get money. It's millions and millions of customers, you know? Couple, just couple thousands of drivers, you know? Everybody going to make money, you know? Yes, the market is saturated, but that don't mean nothing. Everybody's still going to make their own money. You just got to be working smart. Know what offers to accept, what offers not to us. I keep telling y'all, man. It's science and math for this stuff, you know? Don't be taking McDonald's, wasting your time on Burger King, Wendy's. It's not going to tip good. Go to places that are going to tip you good. The big restaurants with expensive stuff, you know? Cheesecake Factory, P.F. Chan, Magianos, you know? You know your market. You know, and don't just sit in one place. You know, I used to work in a, you know, in my the area I live in. It wasn't popping. I had to move to a different area. It wasn't popping. And right now I'm in this area right now where I'm getting the big ballers. You know, you gotta move around. You wanna sit sit in one place and you don't make money and you keep complaining. You know, I'm pretty sure you can't. There's no way you're gonna tell me the whole city in your state is cheap. I keep telling you guys this. You just gotta test these markets, test every market, and see which markets pay and which markets don't pay. Or talk to these drivers in other cities, see how much they're making, you know? If it's a problem, you don't wanna drive, commute, one hour, two hours, that's fine. As long as you know you're gonna be making money in that market, you know? Just don't sit in one place and keep complaining and whip when people post their big payouts, you think it's fake. You can believe or don't believe all you want, at the end of the day, I'm getting my deposit in my account. I'm out here working smart. The people in my market know we get those big ballers. We get it. It's nothing. You know, they know it. So, you know, if you're in a market, I get it. Every market is different. You might be, you know, your people might be cheap. You might want to look out, try in different market and see which one pays more. You know, 
You can't just sit in one place and keep complaining and trying to find, you know, do the same thing, trying to expect a different result. It's not going to happen. You got to move around and test these markets and see which one pays and which one don't pay, you know? It might be hard parking or it might you might go to commute to, to you know, one or two hours. You got to do what you got to do. Nothing is easy in life. You got to hustle out there. You got to grind. The grind will never stop. Like I said, on oh my mama, it will never stop. Y'all can hate all y'all want. It don't bother me. It actually motivate me to go out here and get that bag, you know? We running the numbers up every week. 19 something last week, 2K this week. You know, the goal is 3K in five days. Or right now it's 2K in five days, you know, and take the weekend off, you know? I'm not going to stop working smart. I'm going to be cherry picking, being selective for my orders. What restaurants to go to? I don't waste my time on red cars offers, you know? I do Grubhub, the Grubhub, you know, place offers. If it's worth it, $25 and up. I might do a $20 if it's a quick one, you know, call the restaurants, you know, go in there, pick it up and drop it off quick. You just got to be smart, guys. You got to be working smart, you know? Don't tell me you're in a chip market. Move to a different area. There's no way you're going to tell me your host, you know, the whole city in your state is cheap. You can't tell me that. There should be a rich people somewhere. Figure that place and go over there and pick up your bags. That means you got to commute an hour or two. You got to do what you got to do, baby. But don't come on here and complain and keep complaining and not, not doing anything about your situation. You know, you got to move around. That's why, that's why I'm making money, right? I was moving around. It wasn't helping me. Like I said, you know, you have to move around and test this market, figure out these places, these restaurants, you know, know the area better, you know? Stop me wasting your time in a restaurant with $2. Come on, man. How many times I got to tell you guys? It's not worth it, you know? And also an article came out about, you know, Propose 2,000 monthly stimulus checks and, you know, cancel rent and mortgage payment for a year. I see a lot of people have an issue with that, you know. I get it. If you're a landlord, you know, you're going through the same issue I'm going through. But the government is going to take care of you, you know. That's not, you got to think about you first. You know, I know people care about their landlords. You know, I'm more about the leasing people, you know, mortgage people ripping us off. You know, I don't care if they get paid or not. But I can understand you if you're going to look out for your landlord. I get it. You know, some of, some of these people are retirees, you know. That's how they make their money, taking their rent from you guys, your tenants, every every month, you know. I get it. But I'm pretty sure the government know what they're doing, you know. Some people are also saying if the government keep on printing money, the economy is going to, you know. You trying to tell me the government don't know all that stuff, you know. The government know everything they're doing. Just leave the government to do what they do, you know. Printing all this money. It's going to be a big problem for the economy. The government know that, you know. I, 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 I can't wait for Congress to pass this, you know. Cancel rent and mortgage for a year. I, I love it, you know. Whatever is going to come with the economy, the government going to deal with it. You know, we're going to deal with it. It's, it's whatever. But I'm pretty sure the government know what they're doing. We're going to go to a lot of debts, you know, whatever. They know what they're doing. I don't want to get my year free. I, I love it. A year free of not paying rent. Shit. Save my money for something else. You feel me? These leases and these mortgages, they're ripping the us. They're off anyway. You know? I can sympathize with landlords. That's it. Not anybody else. You know, these corporate people, you can't sympathize with them because they're making millions and billions of dollars. You can't call, you know, you can't sympathize with them. You know? So on that note, let's motivate and inspire each other, man. You are the best. You kill yourself. Know your worth. None of that little office, man. Let's spread love around the world. Let's stop the hating. And God bless everybody, man. You are the bag. Like I say, you got to believe. Have faith. Be patient, man. Let's go out here and pick up this big bass. You know, God bless everybody. And y'all be safe, man. Let's go out here and pick up this big bass. God bless. Let's get it. Boss. Yeah.